It's science, it's engineering, there's aspects we need to understand, and that's quite exciting. This is the CPR sand. This is the magic dust that makes HDS work. If we're able to get HDS completely right, then we've gone a long way to solving one of the largest problems facing our industry. Tailing stamps are big structures where the residue coming from the mining process is stored after we get any mineral that we are mining. So any kind of tailings deposits needs to be safe and secure for life. The prize that we're going for here is to get the water out of the tailings. The water is the media where the material can flow in case of a potential failure. That's the big issue. Reducing the water content makes our tailings facilities much safer and allows us to then close our facilities much quicker and repurpose that piece of land for the value and benefit of stakeholders and communities. Within the innovation team from about 2016 to 2019, 2020, we worked a lot on coarse particle recovery or CPR. And I remember my colleagues all looking at the material coming off the top, which was the concentrate, and getting excited about that, whereas I was kind of fixated with the material coming out the bottom, which was the sands, the reject sands. I was looking at them coming out and I was thinking, it's, it's draining, the water is draining straight away. We saw that sand being generated through coarse particle recovery and we thought about ways in which we could utilize that sand within the tailings design. The hydraulic dewater stacking or HDS is a tailings management technology that is a methodology that allows to dewater the tailings deposit in situ. The real potential for HDS is the ability to utilize part of the conventional tailings to create a free draining sand and take that sand, place it in drainage channels. When you place your tailings in between those drainage channels, you find that the water from the tailings will travel into the drainage channels and away. It's just enabling and reducing the distance that water needs to flow within a tailings facility until it finds an exit. It's keeping the door open for the water. That's what we want to do with tailings facilities. We want to get the water out and keep the water out. So today is a great day. We're starting the geotechnical campaign. For two and a half years, we've been operating and getting a lot of data coming from the instruments. But now with the information that we can get from the drilling and the first borehole, we will be able to see what happened at the end. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. There you go. So it's going to be exciting as we start seeing samples coming out of the drill holes. Have our drainage channels maintained robustness throughout the course of the trial? Have we been able to get that desaturation? Have we kept that desaturation throughout the trial? This is it. This is the moment of truth. That's 2.8 meters. That's the bottom. It's very dry, it's clearly unsaturated. That's from 2.8 meters down. That's pretty amazing, really. The top part of it was still wet, but that's hardly surprising given that we were placing fresh tailings on this very spot that we're drilling now about two weeks ago. I mean, I mean it's very exciting. I mean, two weeks ago, this was tailings, and if we were sitting here now, we would be floating. Wait. It's a bit surreal, really. I want the next one. You want the next one? Yes. Impatient. <laughs>The innovation that we see here at the El Soldado HGS demonstration is fantastic. It epitomizes the work that we've done throughout the company in the last 10 years. HDS is a way in which we can sustainably manage the tailings, recover as much of the water as possible for us to reuse. And because we're recovering that water, our tailings storage is safer and our tailings storage is easier and quicker to close and provide that land back to communities and other stakeholders. We're not done. All the information, the data, the correlations is going to be key to be able to scale this up for the rest of our assets. So it's 
pretty amazing, yes.